Hello everyone, Amy here again. Today I will teach you how to install RRF on Flygemini V2.0 motherboard. So let's preparation before work. One piece Flygemini V2.0 motherboard and two SD cards and one piece Wi-Fi connector. Yes, and one piece is USB flash disk and one type C USB connector. Now let's go to the motherboard and turn the dial switch 7 and 8 on and others 1 to 6 and off. Yes, and upper here include the top 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 turn on yes over there one two five turn on yes now let's go back to the website to see the reference link over there yes here we can check SBS preparation yes download the latest prepared image from here and we need download the first one yes for I have downloaded it, so everybody need to download it successfully. And now we need to install a tour Let's flash uh, the latest image to the SD card. Yes. Yes, we go back to the reference link over here. That can flash. Use this to flash the SD card. Okay, let's insert the SD card into the flash disk and connect to the computer. Yes. Now, okay, cancer? Yes. Okay, let's click here and choose this. We just downloaded, yes, image and select target. That is our SD card, yes, select and flash. Yes, click flash. They will be take about four or five minutes. So let's wait it. Now it's flash successfully and now let's insert the SD card into the motherboard. Yes, over there. Yes, okay, insert here. And now we can insert the Wi-Fi connector on the motherboard. And now we can use Type C USB to connect the motherboard to the computer. Yes, this one is right. Now it's connected to the computer. And now we go back to the reference link and this and this firmware. Okay, let's go back to the parameter configuration interface. Yes, this one choose. Fly Gemini V2.0, yes, and others, okay, choose click finish. Yes, let's wait in. and now let's click download configuration zip. Okay. Yes, now let's open the mobile store and go to the putty interface. And now let's Go to check our device manage and check whether the connection is successful. Let's see the common part is over here. Yes, let's click session and SSH and the zero and choose comma. Yes, and this one and click OK. Now, nice. Go back our reference link. Yes, here have many following steps. Yes. 
And now we can go back to the mobile store. Yes, and、uh, enter root. Okay, password one two three four five. And now we can set our new account password to log in. This is、uh, according to your customers the account and password. Yes. And here choose the SH. Watch again and create password. Yes, repeat password. Okay, now. Okay, now we can enter NMTUI to. Active a Wi-Fi connector. Yes. Now let's use up and down key to select Wi-Fi and the password. Yes, here. And okay, waiting. Yes, now the Wi-Fi is connected successfully. Let's enter ESC to back to the interface. Now let's put RRF upgrade latest stable. Yes, to upgrade the version of SBC. They will take about five minutes, so let's waiting for the upgrade. Yes, here I wrote, I wrote wrong. Let's enter again. RRF upgrade latest stable. Yes, and enter. Here we need to wait about five minutes. Yes. Okay, now now is finished. Let's put IPA to check the IP address. Yes, over there. Let's open this IP address. Go to the Google browser. Okay, now let's do the next one. Insert SD card into the USB disk. Yes, let's copy the firmware B and SYS folder to the SD card. Yes, now insert connect to the computer. Yes. Now let's open before we have downloaded config zip and the firmware the bin. Yes, this one and this one. Okay, copy here. Now let's rename this firmware the bin. Yes. Okay. And now depress the config zip and delete this. Yes. Okay. And open this config and cut C S Y S to the directory. Okay, and delete the config. Okay, now that's all. Yes. Now pull out the in SD card and now, yes, pull out the SD card. And insert the SD card into the motherboard over there. Yes. Okay. Now let's go back to the computer and enter this IP address. Now it's connecting. Yes, connecting successfully. And open the general. We can select the language as we need, and go to the system and upload system field. Before we have downloaded, yes, uploading field. Yes.
Okay, now let's upload system view and choose config zip. That is the latest config zip. Okay, restart mainboard. Okay, now all uploaded successfully. And the last, the next you can do as according to your own machine. Yes, that's all for today. I hope it will help you. Thank you for your watching. See you next time. Bye.